Beloved friends, I'm so glad you could join me for this prayer time focused on receiving complete forgiveness of sins. My name is Michael and welcome to the Jesus Daily Prayers channel where we boldly approach God's throne of grace together. Today's prayer session deals with the profound blessing and freedom of having our sins forgiven. I know many of you tuning in feel weighed down by guilt, shame, or regret. Your past failures and mistakes haunt you, stealing joy and purpose. You may feel unworthy to draw close to the Lord with so many sins accumulated over years. I have such good news for you today. Scripture assures us in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When we confess and repent, asking God for forgiveness, He promises to purify us completely from every wrong. We are made new. Because of Jesus' sacrifice, we have the incredible privilege of releasing all sin, regret, and guilt permanently into God's sea of forgetfulness. Though our sin is as scarlet, He makes us white as snow. What an amazing promise! To tap into this power, I encourage you to pray this prayer for forgiveness daily over the next seven days. Seven is a significant number in the Bible representing completion. Praying this prayer for one week will allow God to completely cleanse and renew you from every sin. Please comment below on what God speaks to you during this seven-day journey. Let your testimony help others believe God's word that He thoroughly forgives all who humbly repent. There is freedom and restoration in His presence. Come and receive it boldly today. Let's begin our time together by quieting our hearts to talk with our Heavenly Father. May He fill us with assurance of pardon and mind-blowing peace. Come close to Him now, dear one. Let's bring every failure and regret to the foot of His cross together. Merciful Father, we come before you today in humility, acknowledging our great need for your forgiveness. We have sinned and fallen short of your glory in so many ways. Our lives are marked by poor choices, missed opportunities, and rebellion against your way. Lord, the weight of unconfessed sin has caused our hearts to grow distant and cold toward you. Sin twists our thinking, pollutes our spirits, and prevents us from living fully. We desperately need your cleansing today. Please pour out your grace and forgiveness over every person praying this prayer. For sins we can remember and sins long forgotten, wash us completely clean. We lay down pride, excuses, and self-effort. We cannot erase our wrongs through human striving. We need a Savior. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to break every chain of sin and death. Lord, we stand under your cross today, permitting your blood to purify us from wickedness and guilt. Your word says if we confess our sins, you forgive and restore. So we confess every sin now and receive your mercy. Breathe new life into weary souls today. Awaken our spiritual passion as we turn from darkness and walk fully in your light. Lift every burden of shame and regret. Thank you for reminding us that your mercies are new every morning. What wondrous love. Let's reflect on this promise of total forgiveness in Psalm 103. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Praise God for not giving us what we deserve. Though our sins are grievous, his love supersedes them all. He has removed our wickedness eternally. What an amazing promise! No matter how unworthy we may feel, we are reconciled fully to Him by the blood of Jesus if we simply repent. Let this truth soak down into your spirit today, beloved. The burden of sin and guilt has been carried away to never enslave you again. You are free to dance in forgiveness and serve God wholeheartedly. Rejoice, dear friend, as we continue to pray boldly for forgiveness and purification. I want to remind you of God's extravagant grace and steadfast love for you. Hear this today. You are so deeply cherished. Though you feel defeated by sin, He sees your heart and best dreams. He longs to restore you completely back to intimacy with Himself. Jesus' words in Luke 15 verse 7 remind us how the Father longs to welcome back those who have drifted away. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. There is ecstatic celebration in heaven the moment you repent. God yearns for closeness with you. 
Do not believe the enemy's lies that you are unforgivable. God's mercy is bigger than every failure. Run to him for renewal. I also want to urge you to renounce any agreements you've made with lies, addiction, or darkness. Cancel every covenant not from God by repenting and choosing his truth to govern your life instead. The enemy wants you enslaved through shame, but Jesus came to set captives free. The power is in the name of Jesus. Philippians 2 verse 10 assures us, At the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Every dark thing must submit to his authority. Wield Jesus' mighty name as a weapon of warfare against condemnation. You are victorious. Finally, I implore you to forgive those who have sinned against you. Unforgiveness leads to bitterness, which gives the enemy footholds in our lives. But when you fully forgive others, powerful spiritual breakthrough is released. Matthew 6 verse 14 to 15 reminds us, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Walking in forgiveness is key. Let these words reassure you of your Father's extravagant love. Receive His complete forgiveness today. You are being made new. Heavenly Father, thank you for welcoming us into your presence despite our unworthiness. Thank you for hearing our prayers for forgiveness and restoration. Your mercies are new every morning. We praise you for your faithfulness. Lord, we ask that you would seal the work of forgiveness in our hearts today. Help us fully receive your complete cleansing. Remove all shame, regret, and condemnation. Grant us grace to walk in holiness and freedom from this day forward. Empower us to forgive those who have sinned against us also. Release us from all bitterness and resentment. Teach us to freely offer the same grace we have received from you, dear God. Thank you for reminding us through your word that you remove our transgressions from us. May we reflect often on the incredible promise that you separate us from our sins as far as the East is from the West. We rebuke and renounce all agreements made with lies, evil influences, and sin patterns that previously entangled us. Jesus alone will reign in our hearts and govern our lives. Thank you for making all things new. As we conclude our time together, we ask you to seal and protect the work you have done. Empower us to walk uprightly, extending mercy and love to others. Use us for your glory. We love you and thank you for complete restoration. Friends, please continue to share your stories with me of how God is setting you free. Your testimony will help strengthen and encourage others. God is doing a great work in you. And please subscribe if these prayers are blessing you. I want to continue lifting you up as we boldly approach God together. Finally, please consider sowing a seed into this ministry if it is on your heart. We are believing for God's supernatural provision and ability to reach many more people desperate for prayer and encouragement. Thank you for your support. Stay connected, dear friends. I am praying for each of you by name. God is restoring and forgiving you completely. Walk in freedom and purpose. Blessings to you.